Hello everyone, it's my Farmer 6710 and today back again with another tutorial video and today's tutorial video is about how to make realistic stone walling like in the photo here in the in the video here um for your model farm. So no further ado, let's get into it. So I'm down here in the workshop now, I'm going to uh guess setting up the how I make the stone walls. I just have one here on the side for um example. Um how I make them is I use these pebbles here. Now only one one um, disadvantage with these pe particular pebbles they're a bit big. You could do with very smaller ones. So if you have any smaller pebbles um they will do even better because they they'll stick better together. Um, sometimes they, they can kind of break apart kind of easily, the big ones, the big rocks, so if you have any smaller, it'd be even better, but this is what I have at the moment um, to um, to my access, so. So what you will need anyway is these stones like this, I just got a big box of them, picked them up from the yard, and you will, if you have any Lego lying about, I just made a little base so you can um, put the, make the structure of the wall. Um, you need some greaseproof paper, I think it's called, um, a spoon, and uh, a little, a little um, something to put the rocks into so you can mix them, and also some PVA. So uh, now that's that's what you need. It's going to be very, it's very cheap, effective way of making realistic stone walling, uh, without breaking the bank. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll get into showing you how to so. Okay, so for for the for example for this video, I'm do, I'm just doing a small a small little I made a little small base for um this type of stone wall. It's very small stone walling, but you can obviously make bigger bases. Like I have a bigger base made, but uh, just for the first for the purpose of the video, I said I'd just use the smaller base. So anyway, getting into it, I'm gonna grab a few stones from um, my box. Put them into my little uh, container here, and uh, I want a good few anyway. Uh, a few more, just to be sure. So, so you want about that's enough anyway. Be rather um, looking forward than having it, have it than looking forward. So uh, I'm gonna have the PVA here, and I'm gonna. Put a good bit of PVA into here now, so and then I can mix them together. So I'll, you need a good amount for it to stick all together, or else it it uh, won't. It'll just all break apart. And uh, obviously, if if you uh, don't you don't be using the best of spoons as a. Uh, I just use an old old spoon that I had in the bottom of the drawer. So don't be using the most expensive spoon or good best, best spoon in your house. Uh, so yeah, I'm mixing them up here. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a bit more. So uh, yeah, um, I also want to say. We're again near a thousand subscribers, so if you could do a favour for me, and if you could share the channel with your friends, or your family, or other people you'd, you know you'd, that would like the the videos, it would mean the world to me. Um, I'm doing the, coming up five years now, doing the videos, so, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a very exciting to hear a thousand subscribers now. So anyway, I think we have enough enough uh, PVA in there now. That's the that's the amount I usually put in. Um. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to get my greaseproof paper, and uh, probably don't need that much. I'm just going to pass that. So I'm just going to sit in like that there. Um, make a base for it. So um sorry just getting my tripod um 
whatever. Alright, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to spoon out the rocks with my with spoon and into the, the compartment here. And uh, it should, it like, takes a good while for them to dry. Like, you'd want to be, like, they, after a day's drying, they'd be still, they'd be still a little bit loose. So, I'll show you what I'll be doing in a few minutes' time. Um, It's like a, I don't think I found useful. So, that's... That there is about enough stones, I might put another one in at the side there. So, so what then what I do with that is I just fold over the grey spoof paper so no air gets in. And then they can dry dry together. Then usually what I do with that after is after like two hours or so I like Take it, take it, take it up out of this um, thing I you make out of Lego, and um, you just leave it on the side so it can dry. So I usually leave it like under like a light in the kitchen, and it dries on on the kitchen table. Um, so roughly you're talking about two days, but if you like do a good few, you should you shouldn't be doing that too bad. It shouldn't be that too bad. So um, one. I usually make like about five at a time and then I'm able to let them dry and then I have five to put on the model farm. So that's the idea I do and I'll come back in a, um, I'm going to pause this video now and then come back in a few, few hours and then show you what I do then. Right, um, so it hasn't been, uh, hasn't actually been an hour, it's just been over half an hour here so um I'm gonna take up the thing here, I'm gonna put it on the side. It's still very loose now, it's not set. But um hopefully it'll set now because it's on the side and there's light and it uh, has its shape now but um the light should harden it now. So I think um I'd say nearly I'll come back after a day and I'll see how it is then. But uh from my experience it's about of roughly a day and a half so i'll leave this overnight i'll come back come back to it tomorrow tomorrow evening and i'll, I'll um take the recorder out and i'll show you show you then uh you might be saying uh, about the white pva will they will that come out and the answer is no because when pva dries it goes see-through type of so um yeah, it doesn't make a bad effect on it so yeah, I'll come back to you in a, another day, so for tea will be only another second. So I'll see you then. Now Jeepers, it's been a long time. It's been actually three or two or three days anyway since um I left left off. And uh, I want to add one thing. Do don't if you want if you're cautious about the time or you want it to set quicker, I'd recommend bringing it inside um and leaving it drying inside in a warm environment in your house as out in the shed there's no heating obviously on the shed here and um yeah it's in a cold cold temperature here so yeah, anyway it's all it's very hard now and uh i know it won't be breaking apart so um this three screw paper is probably going to be stick stuck to it but uh it's not breaking apart, which is a good sign. So, I think that's everything off. You'll get these little bits of plastic there, which all you should do is peel off. And hopefully, it should stand. There you go. So, yeah. Looks quite well. It's a small little stone wall. It'll do for I don't know. It'll do for the likes of a, around the fire. But I've uh, 
as you can see, I made this wall at the same day, and look, it's not even, it's, you can still see the PVA, the white stuff there. So I'll be bringing that inside, and uh, yeah, I'm going to bring that inside to dry tonight. So that's the difference. Make sure to leave it in a warm climate, so warm temperature, to um, to dry. So I'm going to bring this up to the farm, and I'll finish off the video with um, how it looks in a scene. Okay, so this is the wall here. Um, doesn't look quite bad. Doesn't look too bad to be honest with you. And uh, there's there's a longer, uh, a much bigger one I made quite a while before. And uh, I also have another long one there, which goes alongside the road, which looks quite good. And then also made a few small ones here, which. Like the one we have, I'm after showing you how to make uh, for around the garden and the house. Um, quite happy with the garden and the house actually. Looks quite well, nice and homely feeling about it. Also have the bench there in the corner. Might be, yeah, I think I'm missing a few flowers. I have a bit of shrubbery there. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I'm not sure when this video will be up, um, I think, oh no, I do know when it's going to be up, this video should be up on uh, Friday, so there's there's good news, there's going to be a, a, a model farm building video on Sunday, so look forward to that, and tomorrow there'll be, tomorrow which will be Saturday, um, at the time you're watching this, it will, there will be a video on me and Daniel, Thank you news for a thousand subscribers and we're we're gonna announce what we're gonna be doing for a thousand subscribers special so stay tuned for that video please um if you want to take part in it. So no further ado, um that's about what all I have to say. Uh yeah that's about what all I have to say. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, like like the videos if you enjoyed it and you learned something from it. And um if you if you tried out this tutorial, make sure to email the photos to either modelfarmer8 at gmail.com or you can send them in to the modelfarmer 6 7, 10 yt Instagram. So, that's if you do it. You don't have to. I'm not forcing you. But if you try it out, I'd like to see the results of some some of the um, some of you um, that did it. Anyway, enough, enough talking. I'll end the video here. So... Thanks for watching everyone, Make, uh, stay in tune this far and I'll see you again soon tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Bye for now.